welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be testing out a foundation that I picked up in Primark the other day. Now, I've not tried any of Primark's foundations. I love, love, love their lip liners, but I've never tried any of their foundations. But the other day, this really caught my eye and I swatched it and I was like, actually, that looks really, really nice. So I picked it up. It is the PS My Perfect Color Moisturizing Foundation Stick. It says it's buildable coverage, a velvet finish, and has vitamin E. It's 11 grams, and I got the color Nude Beige. One of the best things about this is the price. Obviously, we all know Primark is the holy grail, the best place to go on a budget. So for £2.50, I thought, you know what, I need to pick it up, I need to give it a go. I don't normally use stick foundations. There is like two stick foundations I used to love. One of them was called Page Something. It was like a really cheap one that you would find in a chemist. And the other one is the Maybelline, is it the Maybelline Fit Me? No, it's not Fit Me, is it? But that's another one and it's got like um. A balm in the middle of it the Maybelline one I like that one as well um, I do tend to think that stick foundations are a lot more full coverage so I thought let's just give this a go and hopefully it works hopefully I got a good uh, match as well but I did swatch it in the store and this was like the best a match for me okay firstly I want to prime my skin I've already as you can see I've put my eyelashes on I've done my eyebrows and like I've um, tidied up my eyebrows, you can see the concealer, but I wanna prime my face and I am using the Maybelline Super Stay Primer. I actually really, really like this. I only bought this about two weeks ago and it does really, really work. It's very runny though. Okay, so that's my primer all set. Feels lovely. Okay, so let's get in with this foundation nice lip packaging so like the packaging feels really sturdy and let's see how much product you actually get so that is a fair chunk of foundation which is great so i'm just gonna like put this all over my face and then blend it in with my um beauty blender Doesn't look like a bad match. It's covering um, my pinkness. Going in with my favorite one euro beauty blender from Germany, which my lovely friend Jess brought over for me. For me. Oh, it's very, um, straight away from the back, it's very, very drying. In the sense as in like it dries really quick. So maybe putting it all over my face straight away wasn't a good idea. Oh, the match is lovely though. The match, it matches my skin perfect. So straight up from first looks, one thing I do like about it, it's very, very skin-like. So it doesn't actually look like I've got any foundation on. It has covered, but not as much as I would like. So I'm gonna see if I can build it up. Okay, it's definitely buildable. See, I like, I'm just stamping it in. Don't really need to like be forceful with it and it's just blending in lovely to the skin. It looks so natural. And it's definitely buildable. I think this is quite nice. Let's see how it sets under powder. I have reverted back to this powder. I used to use this powder so many years ago and it's the Revlon Photo Ready. I've got it in the color light to medium, 020. It's so, such a fine powder. Like watch when I put my powder brush into it. It's so fine, but it makes your skin just look so airbrushed and photo ready. I am loving this powder again. So good. And what I like to do is just, oh, oh, okay, I'm seeing a bit of a negative. When I'm putting powder on top of it, it seems to be separating a little bit. 
actually i think i'm exaggerating it looks really nice okay so i've put my powder on top of it and it does actually look pretty good i got a bit worried because it looked like it was separating a bit here but i think it was just you know when you're testing something out and you're just looking for the negatives but now that it's all on my face and overall it looks really nice really 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 natural so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished all my makeup and final thoughts is, it's not bad. Like I wouldn't say it's terrible, but it makes my face feel really waxy, if you know what I mean. Like, you know, that it happens a lot with stick foundation and the sun's coming out. Do I look that great? Thank you. You get that a lot with a lot of stick foundations, like that it can be quite waxy. Um, but overall, I'd give it about a 7 out of 10. I would use this again. I'd use it for like every day or for work, but I wouldn't use it for something special. And for £2.50, I don't think it's done bad. All my face done, it's not too bad, is it? i purchase it again, probably. For £2.50, it is really, really cheap and... It does the job, but I'm not in love with it. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Just a quick little review and a little demonstration of the My Perfect Colour Primark Foundation Stick. If you enjoyed this video, click that button down below. Give me a massive thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Give a girl a support. Honestly, you guys mean the absolute world to me. Well, thank you so much once again for watching my video, guys. Have a lovely, lovely day. Mwah. Thank you.